as a Kotex Abaquis, and in this video, we're going to be making a crunky, crazy future bass sound with Wavetable that I've been hearing a lot with Haywire, Mayadon, and a lot of other musicians out there. So let's check out what it sounds like and build it in Ableton Live. All right, so here's the sound. Let's just solo that bass. And I'll be playing myself. Nice, nice, crunky, full sounding bass sound. So let's build this in Ableton Live. First thing I'm gonna do is delete what I've got there. Then I'm gonna go up into instruments. Bam, wavetable, throw that in. Now I'm gonna go full screen just so we can do this, see it all laid out real quick. All right, this one's gonna be a pretty easy one to start. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay in the basic shapes and I'm gonna go just a little bit under, we see that saw wave. So I'm gonna go about 61% right there. Then I'm gonna use this sub, turn, crank it up because we got a bass here. The tone I'm gonna to put up around 80%, 82, that's great. Negative one octave, awesome, so let's hear that. All right, so pretty good start. We've got to do a lot to change the sound and make it really glue together. So let's look at the envelopes and we'll also be looking at the filter. With the envelope, I'm going to pretty much keep this as is, except for I'm going to change that release time. Turn this up just a little bit. Great, envelope two and three, I'm not going to really touch much, but I am going to change LFO one just a little bit. We're going to turn this down and then the amount I'm gonna turn down quite a bit. Actually, I'm gonna turn that rate a little bit. Up to about two hertz. There we go. Now I've really gotta map this for this to make sense. Now, the next thing is I'm going to change this filter. Got the resonance around 50. Got this frequency around there. And what I want to do is actually map this to amp. And then I'm going to turn that frequency down just a little bit. There we go. Having this filter frequency around 66%. Putting that down a little bit, what that means is it's going to give you the full range here and then slightly swoop down along with that amp. That way it has kind of an attack at the front of the sound. With LFO1, I'm going to turn that up just a teeny bit with my oscillator 1 pitch. So to do that, just touch that semitone there, shows up here, put that up. And that is way too much to start. So I'm going to turn down this amount. So that slight moving of detuning gives us a really unique sound. It makes it seem like it's more of an analog synthesizer. And then to kind of fill out this sound, I'm going to change the unison. So I'm going to go with classic, voices, four, and go up a little bit around 50%. There we go. Nice, 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 crazy big. <laughs> I love this sound. Oh, I could kind of just like play and listen to that for a long time. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty basic preset. We're not doing anything too crazy, but this is a good jumping off point. You could always go ahead and put in something like complex. Right, and then it's gonna get more and more interesting. But sometimes simple just works. And I hear this style a lot of time in a lot of future bass tracks like Haywire and other artists I was mentioning earlier. And it's just, it works, it's full, and it is super clean in the mix. There you go, that's the preset in Ableton Live's Wavetable. You can download this for a buck, follow the link in the description if you want the preset. There'll be a few other things to make it a little bit more tweakable in an instrument rack. Or you can just build this DIY at home and use it in your production. 
I'm gonna be making a ton of videos like this of different styles, trying to emulate different musicians, synthesizer sounds out there and so on using Wavetable because I freaking love this thing. So subscribe, there'll be more videos coming at you. And yeah, till next time, make some music.